Hello everyone, welcome back to The Lazy Chef. My name is Sammy and today we're going to be making one of my own recipes, English breakfast pie. I thought it was quite a good idea. So um, you can add anything you like to this. You can add mushrooms, hash browns, black pudding, hogs pudding, onions, whatever you fancy. Anyway, let's get cooking. Enjoy. So as you can see in the bowl we have plain flour, trex, margarine and salt. Now I use trex, I think in America it's called Crisco. You can use large, you can use all margarine if you so desire, but trex actually gives it a really lovely light texture. So what I'm doing now is I'm rubbing it in. Uh, we want to make it into, as they say, fine breadcrumbs. Do that in between your fingers and your thumb because they're the coolest part. If you go rubbing it in your hands, then it will just go all gunky. So there we go, rub away. And here we have our fine breadcrumbs. And into this, we're going to add about a tablespoon of water. Um, you know, you'll have to check, it depends on your flour, really. So add a little bit and stir it with a knife. Now, I was always told it's bad luck to stir with a knife, but it's okay to do that with pastry. It's actually great, it mixes in the water really well. So give that a little chop about. Have a little feel. I think that feels about right. And then just grab your pastry in your hand and give it a good squeeze together. It's, it should be a kind of nice, soft consistency. There we go, clean out your bowl as you go there. Now this is super quick rolling. I'm using a square glass dish for this, um, so I'm going to attempt to roll out a square. Here we go. And you want to put your dish on top of your pastry to see if you think the pastry will fit. I didn't do that. <laughs> and then roll it up on your rolling pin and Pop it in your bowl and fit it in as best you can. You'll have to excuse my rolling pin, it's extremely old, but I don't like replacing things until they really are broken, so um, it still works, so I still use it. Neaten up your edges, you don't have to be too fussy, this is the bottom layer. So I've got a little bit of a gap there, so I'm pulling a bit off, putting a bit of water on, patching it up. There you go, you'd never know. You just really need something for the top layer to adhere to, really. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our fillings. So I'm putting a whole tin of baked beans in here. I wasn't sure how many we would use. I hadn't actually made this pie before today. Um, so, yep, a whole tin of beans in the bottom. Lovely jubbly. Give it a spread about. Next thing we're going to put in is a pound of cooked sausages and I slice them lengthways so that they'll lay out in the square nicely. So in they go. I always try and put it to be a bit neat at first, um, it doesn't always work. So pop them in, make it look pretty. Perfect, look, they fit perfectly. Got a few extra, so I'm just going to pop them on top. It really doesn't matter. Like I said, you can add anything you like to this pie. <gasps> onion rings would be lovely. I love onion rings. And next up, I only had a few rashes of bacon left, so um, you can put as many, as much bacon as you like. What I did was I I sliced them so they were nice long pieces and then I cooked them that way. There we go. Okay, next thing we need is 400 ml or a tin of evaporated milk, two large eggs and some salt and pepper and we're going to mix them up together, make sure the eggs are well mixed into the milk. You don't have to use evaporated milk, you can use cream and milk, or just milk, or buttermilk, or anything you like really. Uh, it probably even work with almond milk, I expect. Not sure about the flavour though there. So you get yourself a fork, 
and give it a good mix up. Make sure those egg yolks are nice and broken up and mixed into the milk. I actually made my own evaporated milk, um, but I didn't actually make enough. So um, I added a bit of cream and a bit of full cream milk as well. And then goes three ounces of cheese. And yes, I've been very good and I did only put three ounces of cheese in this time. Give that a good old mix up. And then all you do is pour it onto the top of your pie. And it was really cool because when the pie was cooked, um, this mixture hadn't touched the beans, so you have that lovely layer of beans at the bottom. But you want it to sort of like drip down through the sausages a little bit. Spread it out a bit. So you've got a bit of cheese going everywhere. There we go. That was just the right amount of ingredients. That was good guesswork for me. Next thing you do is get a bit of water and wet the edges of your pastry ready for the lid. And no, you don't need a pastry brush, fingers are fine. Next we're going to roll the lid. Oh, I meant to say, actually, uh, when you cut your pastry, you want two thirds pastry for the bottom and a third of the pastry for your lid. So this is a third of the pastry. Give that a quick roll. And there we go. Roll it round your pin. Pop it on top of your pie. And then it should be ready to crimp. So this is how I do it, the crimping. That's how I was taught at school. There are many ways you can use a fork, if you like, if that's easier for you. Anything really. So it's a bit of a close up there, so you can see. So you pinch two, your thumb and finger together and use your other finger to press it together. Yep, I really can do it that fast. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm cutting off the edges. Normally I do it different to this, but I didn't today. And yes, that uneven edge, that is bothering me too. But it didn't make any difference to the flavour of the pie, obviously. Now I'm going to put three little steam slits in. By the way, that's um, either my great auntie Muriel's or my Nana's butter knife. It's very handy. Right, now I'm just going to do a little bit of a decoration. Nothing fancy. I mean, I'm not in the restaurant or anywhere, I'm at home, so I'm just gonna do a really, really quick decoration. I'm not sure if anybody will notice it, but me anyway. And I'm just gonna make a little, well, flowery thing. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, it'll look pretty. Half of cooking is the love that you put into it, and I always think a bit of garnish or a bit of decoration shows a bit of love. So here we go, bunging that on the top a minute. And now I'm just going to quickly make three leaves. You don't want four leaves, you can have three leaves, five leaves, seven leaves, but you don't want twos or fours, they don't look right. Right, and I put water on the back of everything that it sticks down nicely to the pie. Next we're going to do an egg wash. That's just simply one egg. You won't use it all of course. Now I've got one of these um, silicone uh, brushes and it's quite handy because it whips it up too. So mix up your egg well and then brush it onto your pie. lovely looking good and then you just need to pop it in the oven I'll put all those temperatures and whatnot below and there we go so I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you make this um, if you do please let me know let me know if you put anything different in it that will be interesting uh, please like comment um, subscribe and please share it really helps me out if you do that 
and we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much for coming. Take care now. Bye. Mwah.